Oh, whoa, well, check this out. This is definitely something that we wanna be picking up to sell on eBay. It's even brand new and sealed as well, which is even better. Certain DVDs can go for a pretty crazy amount of money on eBay. It's definitely a category that I like to buy from places like thrift stores to sell online. This one here, it's just $2 and it sells for $125 on eBay, which will make us $101 profit after fees and postage. Now, that's a bit of a one in a million sort of a fine. Usually the margins are a lot tighter and if you don't know what you're looking for, it can definitely get a little overwhelming. So in today's video, I wanna walk you through the process and show you what to look for when you're determining whether or not you should buy an item to sell on eBay. All right, we've just arrived at the first store, but before we get stuck in, I'd like to make this a little bit interactive today. I'd like you guys to download two apps onto your mobile phone. The first one, a free download, eBay. Make sure you've got that app. And the other one as well is eProfit. That's the other one that we're gonna be using to determine whether or not there's gonna be enough profit in the items that we're looking at. I'll step you through each of these apps uh, in today's video, but pause the video, make sure you've got them set up and we'll dive into the first store and see what we can find. All right, so I wanna take you guys into the shoe category. Now, this has been a popular one for me for the last two and a half years of reselling full-time. As you'll see there, there's about $18,000 worth of sales last year, about 16% of my sales overall. I am finding that the shoe prices have been going up slightly in the thrift game, um, but I did wanna take you through at least one example that I've got here, which, and it really breaks down the importance of seeing what's actually going on to sell well. It's these shoes in question right here. These are the Adidas Tubulars. And um, the first step when I'm buying my shoes is I always check the art number. You can see it right here, actually. There's a little art number there. And I actually plug that into Google just to work out what the shoe is. You can see there it's popping up Adidas Tubular Instinct. So I'll then go to eBay and type that into eBay. And I actually do a filtered sold search to see what items have sold of that exact shoe make. You can put some extra filters on, like you can go highest price first, which is what I'm doing here. And I'm also putting another filter on it, which is just for pre-owned shoes only. And that gives you a pretty good indication that the, while there were four shoes for sale, only three have sold internationally. So it's not the best buy, even though it is $3. The other one here as well, we've got the Nike waffles. Uh, these are the rival waffles, so I don't need to go into Google. It's already on the shoe for me. And I just plug that straight into eBay and see that a couple have sold for 35. Now, half price day, I'm just buying these for two, so not bad. So that really is a perfect example that just because the shoes are really cheap doesn't mean that you're gonna make a massive amount of money or even actually sell the shoe in the first place. Those Adidas shoes, while they look great for $3, weren't actually a very good buy. And the out of Nike waffles, well, $35, it's not the best sale price, but when you get them for $2, you can't really say no, I suppose. So ultimately guys, sell through rate is super important. You've got to check those details in store before you go ahead with the purchase. Uh, I do need to show you the e-profit side of things first. So let's dive into another category and I'll show you how I work out the overall profit. All right, I wanna have a look at one of my favorite categories, the hats. Now, I was able to do close to $4,000 in hat sales last year. You can get them for a very cheap price and they sell pretty well. This is an awesome example of what I'm talking about here. There's only two of these exact hat matches for sale right now. But if you have a look on eBay, there's actually 23 sold items. And I'm buying it for two, they're selling for $35 on eBay. So this tells me that we're gonna make really good profit and we're also gonna get the sale in a really quick space of time. I'm putting it into the e-profit calculator here, plugging in $35 sale price, $7.70 to ship, and a $2 purchase price. So as you can see there, we're gonna make $20, and based on the sell-through rate, we're gonna see it in a pretty quick space of time as well. This Ruka hat, I'm picking this one up as well for just a dollar, I thought that was a good hat. And then Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey hat, that one was a purchase price of $4, it sells for $25, and the e-profit calculator tells us we'll make close to $10. So the hat section, guys, it's an underrated category. So a lot of these purchase scenarios so far have been for just individual items. What I wanna do at the end of this video today is just level things up slightly and show you how I go about the process of a bulk buy. So just buying multiple quantities of a certain item and putting all those numbers through the eProfit app to know that there will be some good profit at the end of the day. So stick around for that part because I think that's gonna be really crucial for you guys getting stuck out there sourcing items.
So I touched on it at the start of the video, but DVDs is just a very good category. This one, brand new and sealed, had so many sold comps, so it gave me some confidence, and about a $9 profit there was pretty good. But when you're doing your DVDs, you wanna be doing the box sets. This one here, a perfect example, sells for 90, 45 profit, buying it for 16, so that's actually a steal. Uh, I've jumped in as well into the video games because I do a lot of video games selling as well. $4 into a conservative 20 on this, pretty popular game, should be a quick and easy $9 worth of profit there. And then the jeans. These ones, look, I don't do them so much personally anymore, but it's a great category to sell. $15 purchase price, 45 sale price. I think this is a really good category for all the beginners out there. Something else you guys should be really aware of when you're out sourcing for these items is that there is a massive fake inauthentic market out there for all these items as well. So you need to kind of have an eye for what you're looking for as well. And that only comes over time. If something looks a bit fishy, chances are it is. And I would go home and try and educate yourself on that product uh, to work out what you should be looking for. But uh, the shoes are a really big one, a perfect example. You can often find shoes that look like they're five, $600 shoes. Uh, but they are just knockoffs and they're not worth anything at all. And the last thing you're going to be doing is just buying it and going, you know what, I'll just hope for the best and putting it onto eBay because you'll get a negative review from that buyer and uh, your eBay store is going to suffer for quite a long time. So it's a really tricky thing to get your head around the fake market, um, especially with these op shops and thrift stores. But um, yeah, my advice is to just always err on the side of caution and just stick to products that you know for 100% is genuine. <laughs> That's these, mate. How much on the pops, guys? What about all of them? All right, here's a perfect example of a bulk buy opportunity down at my local flea market. I wanted to buy a good 40 or 50 of these items. And the first step that I go through in this process is to at least let the seller know that I'm interested in buying everything. So as you saw there, I asked him how much for the lot. Looking at- um, Do you know how many there 16, are? Um, yeah, 16, 16, that includes those, plus 20, that's, um, 32, 52. 52 pops yeah. all up. Yeah. So I always try and work on a per unit price once I've got the full quantity allocation. So for this one here, $5 by 52 items, that'd be about $260. I know that if I got them for $7 each, I'd be able to make some good profit. They sell for about 25. So that's what I'm kind of looking for here. Yeah. What would be your best price? Well, 450. 450? Yeah. So once you've got a bit of an idea about what price you'd like to get it for, the golden rule here is to always ask the seller to set the price. That way you know if it's sort of below where you're at or well above where you're at. You can bail out of the deal or get it for a steal. Yeah. So what's that, about nine bucks each? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. And they've all got pot protectors? So at $9 each, I know that I'm going to have to make a counter offer here. I just asked a question irrelative to the whole scenario, but it was really just to allow myself to spend the time to calculate how much I think it was going to be worth for a counter. So at $7, it's about $350 that I'm willing to offer because I know there's going to be profit in it using the e-profit calculator. Yeah. Would you do $350? Uh, probably not that low, $400. 400 about Call it 375. Yeah, all right. 375? Can yeah. I have bank transfer? Is that cool? Um, yes. So I think that's a really good example of how to go about a bulk purchase. If you can try and just double your money in any scenario you're in, I think you're winning. So $375 to make 350 there, I was very content with that. And it was so nice to see that he came in at $450. It didn't take much to come to a mutual agreement there of 375. For example, if he came in at $600, I was gonna walk away. Rather than lowballing him, we're just too far away from where we need to be. 
I would have left that deal alone. But fortunately, a really cool example there, we're able to get the deal done. Now, the eBay app and the eProfit app are absolute necessities when you're just starting out on eBay. Hopefully, you've got your head around it uh, based on this video today. Use it while you're out thrifting and let me know how you go with it. If you're new to the channel and you haven't tuned into any before, make sure you smack that subscribe button for me too if you got any value out of it. We're trying to grow this channel uh, to 20,000 subscribers in the next couple of months, so it'd be cool to have you on board. I'll leave you with the video right here as well, which goes through a couple of cool finds that you can be doing when you're out in the thrift. I appreciate you being here for this one, guys. We'll see you soon.